It's gonna take me forever. Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you this Lego Technic remote controlled Volvo L350F wheel loader. It has 1,636 pieces and it's fully remote controlled with remote controlled driving, steering, and a lifting and tipping bucket. So this set has a battery box, two remote controls, two infrared receivers, an XL motor, a medium motor, a silver motor, and a large motor. And the bucket can go pretty high. Here's all the motorized functions in the wheel loader. In the back of the wheel loader, it has a six-cylinder engine with working pistons and a movable fan. And here is a picture of the real Volvo L350F. Let's take a look inside of what's in this huge box. Alright, there are two remote controls and the two infrared receivers. A huge tire, a rim. There's four tires and four rims in total. There's one bag of Lego, another bag of Lego, XL and a large motor, two more bags of Lego, the huge bucket, we have this thick instruction booklet, five tiny bags of Lego, the shiny new battery box, another bag of Lego, another bag, the power function servo motor, another bag of Lego, another bag of Lego, a bag full of blue pegs. We have some stickers. Now before I start building, I want to mention this huge instruction booklet. It's about 320 pages. Look how thick its binding is. Let's start building. and it's huge! It took a little over four hours to build and has a lot of working functions such as working steering, has working driving, and also has a lifting and tilting bucket. When the wheel loader turns, the steering wheel inside the cab turns also, which I found was pretty cool. 
And back here is six cylinder green engine. You see it with the fan? When the wheel loader moves, the fan moves with it too. So the wheel loader is mostly yellow with a few black parts and it has a lot of stickers such as this Volvo sticker on the front here and some details on the bucket. Pretty small stickers on the top here. And also another Volvo sticker on the back. And there's some lights on the front here and on the top and on the back. And the smokestack. To access the engine you can take the wheel wells out and open these flaps and then you can see the engine in there. So I think this set is pretty cool. What's cool about it is it's remote control and has a bunch of functions and details. Such as these huge wheels with detailed treads on them. The bucket is lifted by these pneumatic pistons. And also, the back axle tilts for a little suspension when going over rocky ground. So instead of the wheels being attached to one axle, it's attached to this thing that has three pegs on it. So the axle can hold more weight instead of just on one axle, which would bend and break under pressure. And I don't know why, but only the, the back wheel tilts, not the front wheel. If you know why only the back wheel tilts, comment below. It might have been just like how they designed it. But I don't know, maybe it's for another reason. What I like about this set is its shape. Like it's shaped like the actual wheel loader. I like these ladders that lead to the cabin. There's another ladder on the left side too. If you look from the top, you can see the engine right here. On the bottom, you can see there's a bunch of gears powering the wheel loader. If you turn only one wheel, the other wheel on the opposite side turns the opposite direction. But if you turn both wheels, all wheels spin. So that makes the wheel loader turn corners. So I thought the differentials were pretty cool. The wheel loader has an XL motor for drive. It's, you can see it right there. It's right underneath the green engine. And it has a silver motor for steering, which is right underneath the driver's seat. It has an M motor for tilting the bucket, which is right here. And an L motor for lifting the bucket, which is right here, right next to the M motor. I would recommend this set if you're a Technic fan and you like driving things around. Now, let's take it for a test drive. Guess how many Jenga blocks this Volvo can lift? Let's start with five. So the Volvo lift the five Jenga block pretty easily. Let's add five more. The loader lifted the 10 Jenga block pretty easily. Let's add five more to make it 15. The Volvo lifted the 15 easily. Maybe five more, make it 20. I can hear the motor slowing down a little bit, but Still, it can lift 20 Jenga blocks. Let's add, let's make it 25, adding five more. The loader is lifting the 25 a little slower, but it still lifts it. Nice and easy. Looks like I'm running out of room to put some Jenga blocks in. Get ready to dump. Comment below if you want me to experiment with the Volvo lifting anything or driving over tough terrain. Subscribe for more videos or visit my website at legochest.com.